So today we have the factory radio. This comes from a 2010 Subaru Impreza. The problem with this factory radio, this as you can see is the non-sat nav. It doesn't have satellite navigation. It's just your basic six CD changer, but it does not have Bluetooth audio. So the owner of, the, of this vehicle would like to have that option. So what we've done is purchase a radio, in this case from crutchfield.com. I don't have any affiliation with Crutchfield whatsoever. Uh, I just think it's a nice site because if you purchase the radio from them, they'll include the mounting hardware and the wire harness specific for your vehicle free of charge. So I just think it just makes, it just makes things a lot easier, more seamless. Uh, you get everything in one package and you're ready to rock and roll. So in this case, I'll be showing how to remove your old radio, wire everything up so this new radio will work in your vehicle, we'll reinstall it, and uh, you'll be in good shape. Now real quick before you guys begin this job, make sure you disconnect the negative terminal at the battery. So of course the first step is removing the housing around the radio. So I have one of these uh, radio bezel removal tools. It's essentially a plastic set you can pick up pretty much anywhere. So <clears throat> I know on this vehicle there are clips up here and there are clips on the bottom as well. So you just take the tool and sometimes you have to press pretty hard, but just press in there and there you go. So you just go around the, uh, the circumference here and let me uh, go back up here. Just gently pry off like so. And then we have four screws, two on the left and two on the right here holding in the radio. So we'll, of course, just go ahead and remove the four screws. And then just gently pull out the radio, and you'll have some connections. Let me see if I can give you a better view here. Okay, I think that's a little bit better. So we have a connection right here. This is for your antenna. You have a harness right here. Just press down. There's a tab in the middle that you can press press down and pull on the harness don't pull on the wires pull on the harness itself you have uh, this black wire again just feel sometimes they could be a little tricky to find but as you can see there was a little prong here to press down on and then we have one more down here and that's it So now of course what we need to do is hook up the wire harness now a lot of you may think this is the worst job or the most difficult job it really isn't that bad but I'll show you what I think is probably the easiest way to do this. What I have here, this black wire, this came with the Sony radio. And then I have an adapter. Now there are two companies out there that make that makes these adapters. One is called Metra. That's probably the biggest in the business. That's M-E-T-R-A. The other one I believe is American International. Both of them are perfectly fine. So in other words, this harness plugs into the vehicle. And again, this is the plug that goes to the Sony radio. But the whole point behind this is it's all color coded, the wires, everything matches. So in other words, I take the red wire coming from the Sony adapter and I take the red wire coming from, in this case, the Metro or American International, whatever you have. You take the red wire coming from your adapter, you solder the connections and this is heat shrink tubing. Now I'm not going to show how to solder uh, there are so many videos out there showing how to solder. In fact, uh, Ultimate RC, he does a very good job showing how to solder. But that's exactly what you're going to do. So you match your, your, you color code everything. So red to red. In this case, we have a white wire with a black stripe connected to the white wire with the black stripe. Yellow to yellow and so forth. So once you make all of your connections, this harness is ready to go. Now sometimes you may have some wires that are not used. In other words, in other words, there there is no orange wire for this Sony connection. And if I read it, it says illumination. But I already know once I plug this in, the dash or the Sony radio will light up. So what you do is you just clip the end and then I put uh, a little piece of heat shrink tubing over it. And then of course we have the black wire. Black is always your ground, but when you purchase your radio, it will come with a ground wire. So you won't need this as well. So again, for this, I just clipped it, 
and put the heat shrink tubing right over it. Now this aftermarket radio happens to have Bluetooth. So what we need to do is hook up the microphone. Now if your aftermarket radio doesn't have Bluetooth or you don't plan on installing the Bluetooth, you can pretty much skip this step. But for guys out there that's uh, curious to see how this works or how this hooks up, there's a console on this vehicle right here. Let me just bring the camera up a little bit so you can see this. And there are clips. So this on this vehicle, the, it just unclips. And as you can see on the back, here are your clips. There's one down here, there's another one on the bottom, and of course you have two right here in the dashboard. So this whole console, or this piece of console, just pulls right out. There's no screws to remove nothing, it's all clips. And then of course here's your microphone. Now the question is how do you feed the wire coming from here and feed it into where the radio will be installed? Now, of course, you can always remove all the plastics here and make the job a little bit easier. But what I'm going to use is this tool I have that has this type of grabbing end. And this is what the other end looks like. So when you push it in, it opens up this end, you release it, and it grabs whatever you need. And this is just a wonderful tool to have if you ever drop bolts that are really deep. Uh, if you don't have a magnetic tool, this can just grab it. Even if you uh, are using plastic tabs, a magnetic tool can't pick up the plastic, obviously. So this can just grab whatever you need. Now let me show you what my plan is for this job. So what I'm going to do is just remove this console. And again, this is the wire going to the microphone. As you can see, they give you a lot of wire. But what I'm interested is in this guy. Now instead of taking apart all of this plastic, what I'm going to do is just feed this tool to meet me up right here. So, let me show you. I'm going to just feed gently this tube or this tool until my left hand can grab it. And there we go. We'll grab the end of this wire and place it right in the tool. So now it's very snug. And then just feed the wire through the dashboard. And there you go. So now I'm just snapping this console back into the vehicle. And again, just snug up your wire. This wire right here running to the mic. And then of course, I'll bring up the steering wheel. Now, of course, what we need to do is install the new radio. Now, this happens to be a single DIN radio. That means the thickness of the radio. A double DIN would enclose this entire housing. So this is a single DIN. And if you happen to like the thicker radios that are touchscreen, maybe GPS and everything else, then you want a double DIN. But the owner for this vehicle decided to go with the single DIN because it has all of the capabilities that uh, they're looking for and also they're less expensive. Now I do recommend, there is one website, crutchfield.com. Uh, I don't have any affiliation with them, but they just have a nice site because if you purchase the radio from them, they'll include the housing. Now this plastic housing is made specific for this vehicle and they'll include the wire harness for your vehicle. That's this guy that we soldered before. So they'll include the housing, the wire harness, but once you have everything, essentially what you're going to do is take your radio and you just bolt it to this housing. It's very, very simple. You have one screw here, another screw here. This holds the radio to this housing. And then you have two small Phillips that holds one end here and two small Phillips on the other end. So this just holds everything in one piece. So what I'm going to do is temporarily reconnect the negative terminal on the battery then we'll grab our wire harness again the black lead goes toward the radio this tan lead plugs into the vehicle and then of course you have your ground don't forget just to temporarily connect your ground wire now that's any metal ground is any metal point on the vehicle so there's a metal harness excuse me there's a metal bracket right here there's another metal bracket right here so i'm just going to fit it in between for now now, if you don't hook up your ground, nothing is going to happen. So you just got to, that's good enough. And then I'm going to grab the, uh, this is the harness, the wire harness, connect it to the vehicle. Make sure it snaps. We'll grab the other end. 
And what I'm doing here is just making sure everything works before I we button everything up. We'll connect this to the back of the radio. Like so. And then of course, don't forget, we just want to make sure that we have a, uh, a signal here. So this is your antenna. And then plug it to the rear of the vehicle. Uh, excuse me, the rear of the radio. Okay, now let's turn the key. And let's make sure everything is working and then we'll wrap up the installation here. All right. So let's see. Everything lights up, so that's good. Pandora radio, phone, Bluetooth phone, tuner, okay. So everything looks okay to me, guys. So we're just going to button everything up, install it into the dashboard, and uh, we'll be in good shape. So everything works on the radio, which is great news. I'm just going to button everything up. So again, just take your ground. And let me just give you a zoom in here. As you can see, this is a metal bracket, so this is a great ground point. What I'm going to do is insert this connector behind this plastic tab and fit it so it makes clear contact with this metal, uh, this metal mounting point. And then we'll fit the radio right over it, make our connections, and uh, we'll be done. And again, this is the Bluetooth or the microphone connection that goes into this guy right here. And right on it, it says mic in. So that's, of course, your, uh, your connection point. Now these screws that I'm tightening, these are the factory screws that held in the factory radio. So you can just reuse the same screws again. And then just reinstalled the trim piece here. And that's it guys, I hope this video helps you out.